1 Samuel 13, we'll be looking at verses 1 through 23. I know you're wondering how we'll fit all that in 17 minutes. Don't worry, we won't. <clears throat> Samuel 13, verse 1. Saul lived for one year and then became king, and when he had reigned for two years over Israel. Saul chose 3,000 men of Israel. 2,000 were with Saul at Michmash and the hill country of Bethel, and a thousand were with Jonathan at Gabeah of Benjamin. The rest of the people he sent home, every man to his tent. Jonathan defeated the garrison of the Philistines that, uh, that was at Gabeah, and the Philistines heard of it. And Saul blew the trumpet throughout all of the land, saying, Let the Hebrews hear. And all Israel heard it and said that Saul had defeated the garrison of the Philistines, and also that Israel had become a stench to the Philistines, And the people were called out to join Saul at Gilgal. The Philistines mustered to fight with Israel 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and troops like the sand on the seashore in multitude. They came up and encamped at Michmash to the east of Beth Avon. When the men of Israel saw that they were in trouble, for the people were hard pressed, the people hid themselves in caves and in holes and in rocks and in tombs and in cisterns. And some Hebrews crossed the fords of the Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilead. Saul was still at Gilgal, and all the people followed him trembling. He waited seven days, the time appointed by Samuel, but Samuel did not come to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. So Saul said, bring the burnt offering here to me and the peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. As soon as he had finished.